won't see how it started. You people with your fancy schmancy machines, go back and take a look at Sergi Busquets' world class. He read absolutely everything what happened and he anticipated, he read the situations quickly, he applied perfectly. Uh, as much he didn't move much of the center, he, he could solve all the problems with, uh, with his brain. Having played against them, in the end you stop pressing them because it's just so frustrating. You can't get the ball off and you can't get close because if you come out of your position to press him, he pops it round you. He's not the fastest, but how he managed the game, how he controlled the game, he was the best by far. Mm. And you can see that maybe he doesn't have the, the, the spotlight that other players have, but in terms of how he controls the game. In that position, Busquets for me was number one. For me, Busquets was absolutely brilliant. This guy never loses the ball, his core goals, everything goes through him, the build up. Just the way he controls the ball, he's facing the right way. They were so comfortable giving him the ball, and he never lost the ball. You watch him game after game, he really loses the ball. Sergio, the way he had a 360 view of the game, it was, it was just incredible. Um, of the highest level, a true great. Nobody could expect that that kind of guy with that thin, maybe tall, but not strong kind of body could survive 15 years at that top level. And credit to him, because of that cleverness, because of that smartness, the guy did what he had to do defensively, but also offensively. The best defensive midfielder in the world.